What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to assemble a new toolbox that I just picked up and uh, we might get some 3D prints involved. So tag along and we'll see how it turns out. This is actually packed way nicer than it used to be. There's styrofoam everywhere. This one is where we might do something fun. All right, now this thing's 100 pounds, and I'm a small dude. So for all you small dudes, let me show you how I'm gonna take this out. Uh, I can I can lift it. No, I can't. Um, I can't lift it because it's bulky. So um, I noticed down here, this is a lip. So I don't really want to tilt it this way and damage this because this needs to remain straight for the corner, um, the feet. And then on the back here, it's relatively flat and there's still some foam on the back. So I took the rest of the cardboard box and I laid it behind it. And I'm gonna, now I'm going to tilt this. Oh, let's see. Hoping this would lift up with it, but it did not. So now I've got that out. That didn't scratch, and this didn't bend. So there we go. Oh, wait. The instructions are inside. We don't need those. Sweet! See you right now. One, why is this so heavy? Ah! That's why. You're a small guy. This is what you're gonna be doing. Sweet. I've built like three of these before. I'm probably gonna have to build it on the side because we need the hutch open. And or I guess it's not a hutch, but we need the top open so that we can get all the bolts in there. And I'll probably fast forward through all that stuff. So enjoy. Do not sit, stand, or climb on this item. Alright, 
So one thing I've learned over the years of working on cars and the fact that I've assembled three or four of these now, you definitely want to leave all the bolts loose. So like this is loose, that's loose, this is all loose until you get all the bolts in, um, especially if you're building it uh, following the instructions where you build the base first and then you pick the chest up with a buddy and you slide it in through the top. You're definitely going to want these loose, otherwise you're going to be fighting to get it in and you might pinch yourself. It just, it's not fun. So this time I'm building it on the side because I'm by myself and I'm small. And only thing left, got to put the casters on the bottom. And then once it's standing upright and the weight is all on it, I'm going to attach this side cart probably on this side here. And that allows you to like hold some bottles and stuff or WD-40, whatever you got, brake cleaner. So I'm going to put all the casters on right now. All right, so I lock the wheels. the deadlift. There we go. You rate my form in the comments. It looks nice you know it says folding side tray and they show it with a bunch of tools on it but we all know this is for pizza and snacks also got the little tray on the side and there's two more things I want to show you with this tool cart because we're gonna make it a little bit better first thing glove box it is great now, it is sunk in a little bit, so that actually, I kind of like that. It might be a little bit more difficult to get your box in and out. You could slide it back farther to make that easier. But when you go to pull a pair, since one side has no tabs, kind of want to pull this way so it doesn't come out. But if you did, you know, take it off each time, put your new box, and then place it here, now it can't come out no matter which way you pull it. So. That is a big help. I've wanted one of those for a long time, so decided this time to just get one right off the bat. And the second thing I wanted to show you is this guy. Now, all of this stuff I got from Harbor Freight. If you live in the States, you most likely have a Harbor Freight next to you. Um, this one has magnets on it. It was kind of pricey, but I got this for a specific reason. Because this drawer, I said I wanted to do something fun with. I'm hoping this thing fits in here, and it does. All right, cool. So I am most likely going to put a hole in this drawer so that the cable can stick out. And let me show you the wire management idea. Okay, so I already have some cable management on my 3D printer and it works great and I already have the file so I'm thinking if I just scale it up just a little bit to fit this cable I can 3D print my own little track and that'll help keep the wire you know when I open and close the drawer 
it'll keep the wire in like a U so that I can stationary mount the wire up top somewhere and it'll stay out of the way because I've had a fancy toolbox before that had a charging drawer and that's the main reason for this is to be able to put my battery chargers in here plug my toolbox into the wall when I go home and just let it charge all night that way everything's in here batteries are good to go it's locked up and safe nobody can steal my stuff Oh no. <sighs> Guess we'll try again. Boom. Oh. I will 3D print a cool little cover that'll go on there. This is gonna be sick. So I took the drawer out. I've got this the length that it needs to be or it's really close. And I was able to twist tie it. So I went along this whole side here and just made a couple holes down the side. I've got a bunch of these twist ties um, it's got a metal core and you just twist them and they're good and like I said this mat will lay down on top of it and you won't see a thing there might be tiny little bumps but there's gonna be tools in here so I'm happy with it it'll keep the wire up and out of the way of the drawer and then the drawer will be able to slide back. So this whole wire will be up like this. And then this little piece will curve in there. There we go. Just got a couple more back in the rear, but it's working good. All right, check it out. Boom. I did notch the drawer in the rear and then made this guy. It's a two piece, it's like an outer sleeve and then this insert, and it was a snug fit. So that ain't going nowhere, put my logo on it. Looks good. Let me show you. See, I notched it right here and then I covered the edges with some electrical tape. I have these nice, um, shears that are for cutting like aluminum and stuff and this is like really really thin steel drawer so it cut through like butter um, and then just like I said put some tape on the sides so that way uh, if there's any rubbing or whatever and that helped out a lot because right here it would get tight and now it's just goes right in like like stock so that's it guys, it turned out sick. We turned this cheap little $300 toolbox to have a charging drawer. Could probably flip this thing for a grand, but I'm not gonna. It's for me. That's dope. And yeah, it's not the best right here with the electrical tape, but I mean, it works for me for now. Um, I guess what I could do is modify one of these pieces and make it so that a screw right here, because there's a screw right there, um, that it would attach this there. 
and then be good to go. And then up top here, this is just kind of loose, um, but it does what I need it to do. So maybe make small improvements down the line. But other than that, I mean, it's gonna work great for me and I'm able to lock up my batteries and charge them when I need to. So that's, <laughs> that's what we did today on the toolbox and it actually took a couple days because that print was about 12 hours, um, but it worked. It failed part way through like you saw, but it worked. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. I hope this helped you guys out. Give me ideas down below of what we should do to further customize this toolbox, organizing, all that jazz. Um, yeah, God bless you. Jesus loves you. Have a great day. Peace. And here it is, fully packed, boys. Drawer's been working out great. Just able to wrap up the cable when I push it around. And then ended up putting this end piece up here, just reusing the screw that holds the case together. Just kind of helps guide it more, keeps it straight. But yeah. This thing is packed. And down here is packed. And all the way down here I got packed up. That's it.